Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites. This is gonna be my first favorites of the year, which is my January favorites. Because I'm not in my beauty space, I had to bring everything downstairs um, in some kind of container and I didn't have any boxes around. So I used these bags. These bags are actually from Walgreens. They're part of their resort collection for Valentine's Day. They are by London Soho. Usually I take bags like this in my purse or in my suitcase, whatever, to make sure that I have everything like neatly organized. Love these big bags because usually on the inside, which this one does have, um, they have like compartments where you can put everything neatly and keep it organized so it doesn't slosh around in your bag. And when I go on planes and when I travel and stuff, I like to keep all of my makeup with me. I don't like to check it because they always like to throw my bag and be reckless with it and then I end up with broken makeup when I get home or when I get wherever I'm going. So I love bags like this. This one says, put on red lipstick and live a little. Super cute. Thank you to Walgreens for gifting me these bags. I will have them linked in the description box to where you can find them. Um, of course, they, will be, they can be found at your local Walgreens near you. But um, yeah, get you some bags, girl. You need bags. Even if you just get the smaller ones, like for your purse, they just keep everything so organized. So everything that I'm gonna be showing you guys today is in these bags, because they helped me to kind of keep everything in one place. I've been playing eight ball. Like my screen is basically like just eight ball. Like all we do is play pool, because I'm trying to get good enough to play Cameron, because like I want to play him, but he's so good. so. I'm trying to like get better um, but yeah you can add little extensions to your keyboards now on Apple iPhones so I mean it's neat. you've been playing games and stuff so so moving on to my skincare all my skin stuff is in here the first thing is not actually skincare this is a hair product this is Miel Organics mint almond oil um, I put it in my hair the other day and it kept my scalp from getting too itchy my scalp is always drier in the winter time I have dry scalp anyway but my scalp is like extremely dry right now. So I get dandruff really easy and having red hair just does not help because I mean, you can see the dandruff that much more clear. This oil has actually been helping me out a lot. My hairstylist recommended it to me because she uses this in the Vabasu conditioner on my hair, which she deep conditions my hair. Okay, so onto skincare. So you guys know that I love moisturizing my face, making sure that my skin is as moisturized and hydrated as possible. Every year around the same time, I traveled back to Texas to visit my family for the holidays. And then when I come back, my face always breaks out like crazy. And then coming back here, where the weather is a little more dry and more cold than Texas, I obviously have like a culture shock happening to my face. So my face starts breaking out because I'm super dry. I'm My skin has been like, messed up because of the airplane. It's just a lot that happens. So my face always breaks out and I know that's what it is because every single time I go home for the holidays and I come back, my face breaks out in the same spot. It's always right here, right here, right here. It's like a three, it makes a three. So I have to make sure that I am doing the most I can to prevent that from happening. But the first thing I would do is like a week before, like almost like four or five days before I know I'm going to be traveling. I try to detox my face. And this is the Pure Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. This is like a vacuum for your face. It's like literally, it's like putting on a mask and then the mask vacuums out all of your stuff from your pores. And it, I could literally feel it like pulling almost, which was really weird and strange, but it felt really cool. And I felt like that was like really working for me, but it says it's unclogs pores and eliminates impurities. It soothes and calms the skin's appearance and gently exfoliates and renews the skin. So you leave it on for five to 20 minutes, rinse it off with warm water. Before I go on a flight, I do like to use a overnight mask or a mask that I can sleep with. Cause I can't sleep with a sheet mask. It'll, I'll wake up and it'll be on my pillow and then my pillow will be all, hydrated um so the latest one i've been trying is the glam glow thirsty mud hydrating treatment this is one of my favorite glam glow masks i've tried a lot of them i use this the night before i go on a flight and sometimes i'll put it on in the morning if i have a morning flight an early morning flight i'll put it on right before i leave the house and sometimes i'll take this on the plane with me and reapply it during a flight if i'm going on a long flight which i will be going on a long flight pretty soon for my anniversary trip 
So I'm gonna need this. We're gonna be doing a whole bunch of moisturizing, okay? Cause we are gonna be on that flight for a long, periodically time. I love this mask though. I love the consistency of it. It's not too, too thick to make me feel like I'm super oily. Actually, I don't think it has any oil in it. It says on the back, perfect for day, night, or in flight. Another hydrating product that I love is the Hydrating Milky Serum by Pixie. This is a serum that you will use after you wash your face and toned it and all that stuff, right before you put on your moisturizer. It's not a moisturizer in itself, so it will boost the effects of a moisturizer by making your skin retain the moisture that you're putting on top. I have another serum like this, I just can't find it, so I had to go buy something else. And I like this one. I like the way that it makes my skin feel, and it makes my skin really soft and supple, you know? This is the Agave Lip Mask by Bite Beauty. And I heard about this from the Glam Twins. They were talking about their favorite winter products, um, products that get them through the winter. Put it on every night before I go to sleep. I wake up with the most lustrous, smooth, satiny lips ever. Tastes good too, smells good because it's agave. It works really well and I've been needing something to keep my lips moisturized overnight um, to get rid of those crust crusts. I'm gonna go to this bag and this is all my makeup products in here. These lashes and these are the Coco Lashes Queen Bee and I have them on right now. I absolutely adore them. I bought three more pair after buying one pair because I just, I adore them. I love them so much. Only $7 on LadyMoss.com. I love them on me. I feel like some lashes on me can look a little heavy. They can make my eyes look really weighed down because I don't really have like big eyes. Um, so I feel like some lashes kind of weigh my eyes down, but these are some that like really open them up, you know, and make sure that I don't look like I have on a whole lot of lash, but I still can get a dramatic look at the same time. They're like the perfect mix between everyday and glam for me. I really, really love these lashes. Another favorite of mine is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Too Faced was one of the first brands that I ever bought makeup from because I got a lip gloss from them. So I was 15 years old. Um, and I got my first like expensive lip gloss. It was like $20. I feel like I was cool. And I remember it tasting like chocolate. So I've always loved Too Faced because of their products, like the, how they have good taste in stuff. So, I mean, it's not a surprise to me that I fell in love with this bronzer on the skin and it blends really well and it doesn't like make my face look muddy or super, super dark or whatever. I can use this to contour without actually using a contour stick or cream underneath and it does a wonderful job of shading my face. Um, but it also smells like chocolate too. So, I mean, you can't really go wrong with that, right? I just recently purchased this Estee Lauder Double Wear. I bought this because I knew I was going to Texas for the holidays and I needed a foundation that was gonna be like super good for oily skin and I've heard a lot of really good things about this. You know, it's very full coverage, it's very mattifying, it doesn't make me oily at all, it stays in place, it doesn't transfer. Like, honestly, if you need something that's going to not budge, not move, and it's gonna look good on your face all day and it's not gonna get oily and it's not gonna transfer and it's not gonna look a hot mess later on in life, um, you can literally sleep in it and wake up the next day and look the same. This is the foundation. The only issue with it is the flashback is real. Now, I took pictures with this foundation and I'll put like pictures on the screen so you guys can see. I took pictures with this foundation on and it didn't necessarily look bad. I didn't like, my face wasn't like ghostly. Probably gonna give your face a little bit of a like glow beam highlight, ultra light beam in like flash video, like on Snapchat or something. I noticed that it was giving me flashback, but in, in like regular pictures, like professional pictures, it looked fine. So I don't know if it's something that I would actually say, throw it away. You know, I would just be careful with it. But the shade selection is so bomb and the foundation itself is so bomb that I really don't care. One thing that I did try was mixing it with another foundation that doesn't have flashback and that helped a lot. I tried mixing it with the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation and it works like a dream. If you guys want me to do a review on this foundation in particular, I can. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Individual reviews or one big review of all of my foundations, talking about all of them, giving swatches and all that stuff. But yeah, this is the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. It is an illuminating foundation, but it is not oily and it doesn't make you shiny. It makes your skin look beautiful. It doesn't make you matte, but it doesn't make you oily. It's just beautiful. I don't know, like for its inexpensive six, seven dollar foundation, this is bomb. I don't even understand why it's so good bomb. Who did this bomb, you know? I don't know, I really, really like it. 
and I've been wearing it nonstop since I got it and I have nothing else to say about it. Another product that I love from them is their LA Girl Pro Powder High Definition Setting Powder. A lot of people say that the white one gives them flashback, you guys. They have a yellow one. And it's really, really good. Like, it sets beautifully, doesn't look too chalky. It's very fine milled, so I feel like it won't make you look cakey really easy. You can bake with it and it won't make you look cakey. It's definitely good. So you should try that too. You got every single video that I've done since the year has started, I've talked about LeBron. And it's not just because I love Jackie Ina and I love everything she does and she's my YouTube mom. Even if it wasn't her, I would still love this highlighter, but because it's her, it makes it that much better. Unfortunately, it is a limited edition product and it's not gonna be re-released, but it's amazing. I've used it on my cheekbones, eyelids, my lips. I'm gonna try mixing it with some lotion and putting it on my body. This is the Tarte Tape Shape Concealer. I'm in between tan and deep, and unfortunately there's no like tandy, so I have to mix this. But this concealer is so bomb. Like, if you need a concealer that's not gonna move, it it's just looks amazing, it doesn't crease at all, um, then you would go with this concealer. It's really, really good. I just don't, I'm not a fan of Tarte's shade range. Last thing I wanna talk about is this brush. This is the Featherweight uh, Pro Featherweight Blending Brush, um, the 93, yeah. It's from Sephora. I bought it because it looked soft. When I actually used it on my face, I was like, holy cow, this is super soft. It's perfect for highlighting the face, dusting away powders, things of that nature. I definitely will be going back to get more brushes like this. I know that there are more in the line, the Featherweight Collection that are super soft. So that is it for this month's favorite favorite. Please make sure to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you wanna see more favorite videos from me this year. Also, make sure that you guys are clicking the bell button on the side of your screen or wherever it is to turn on notifications for me so that you can see whenever I get an up, whenever I upload a video because apparently a lot of you guys haven't been seeing me in your subscription feed. So be sure to subscribe and be sure to turn your notifications on so you know when I'm gonna upload a video. That is all. If you guys have any questions about what I'm wearing, please look in the description box. I will have all those links in there. And that's it. I will talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Love you guys. Bye.